Hello everybody. How are you? I hope you're doing well and I welcome you to another little video for some little goodies regarding Star Trek. Today we're going to go back to Star Trek the original series on our beloved USS Enterprise NCC 1701. And what do I have to show you? I've got to show you the intercom system. That's right, the intercom system from the Enterprise. You've seen Captain Kirk, Mr. Scott, Mr. Spock, Dr. McCoy, and a lot of crew members use these in the hallways throughout the ship. They're a way to communicate with the bridge and intership communication. This is Star Trek, USS Enterprise, door chime, and Let's see, requires three 1.5 AA alkaline batteries. You can see the box art. It's got the Star Trek logo on the side. It's got the Star Trek and it's got the 50th anniversary kind of logo on the other side. The yellow outline of the Starship Enterprise. Replica of the communication panel as seen on the USS Enterprise NCC-1701. Mounts on a wall near a door for that classic original series look. Detects motion and sounds your choice of door opening whoosh or red alert klaxon accompanied by flashing red light. Also plays the intercom whistle at the press of a button. And the rest of this is in a different language. I think it's, it might be French, I'm not sure. But this was released in 2017. You can see, think green. Think geek, I'm sorry, think geek. Um, this is from StarTrek.com, 2017. So, let me put the camera on a tripod and we'll open up the box and I'll show it to you. All right, I got the camera on the tripod, and let's see. Is it open that way? Nope, it opens from the top. There's, um, looks like there's some tape. So let me get a razor, and we can open up the seal. So this doesn't appear to have been opened before, which is pretty nice. Pull out the flap and open the top of the box. All right, here we go. It comes with paperwork. Actually, I'll put the box this way. What do we got? Star Trek USS Enterprise door chime instructions. You can see the diagram, the operation, operation of switch mode, intercom button, the sensor, and the volume switch. On the back, it shows you battery information. Use Phillips head screwdriver to open a battery door. Battery warnings and the intercom button. Make sure you guys can see that. So let's think about putting in the batteries. So I'm in a hurry to see what this sounds like and I'm sure you guys are too. Let's see, how's it held? All right, it's held in place with uh, the plastic pieces. And I really wanna make sure it doesn't go anywhere. All right, let's pull it out. 
can see how awesome that looks. And you can see the switches on the back. All right, let's open it up using the Phillips screwdriver. You can see the compartment for the batteries. And I have some batteries here. that Kirk here red alert So that's the motion sensor. Red alert. And this is the volume if you want it louder. So when you walk by or walk through a doorway, you can put this and you can hear the doors opening, that whoosh kind of sound. And that's when you can signal for the captain. And you put it on the bottom or you put it in the middle and it doesn't do anything. The sensor is off. But when you put it back up at the top, the sensor will go back on and it'll do the whoosh of the door when you walk by and if you put it on the bottom it'll do the red alert when you walk by interestingly this doesn't light up um, I don't, I don't know if that lights up on the show. I'll have to do research into that. But this, see, when you have the motion sensor, it triggers a red alert. Now, when you put it off... That's the loud mode. And then when you put it on a sensor, so when you want the sensor mode, you push the front of the intercom top and when you have walk by or you have someone um, motion in front of it, it'll do that whoosh of the doors opening up on the Enterprise. When you push it down, you have the sensor, somebody goes in front of it, it'll, trig it'll uh, trigger the red alert status of the ship. And if you keep the switch in the middle, then it's just the button that you push, you have the hailing uh, sound.
let's see the So that does just the sensing, and this is for the loudness. You see how it went uh, a little bit lower? And then you put the switch up for a higher volume. You put it down. And again, the whoosh. So that's pretty cool. And you keep it in your doorway. You know, for the longest time I had this, my son had gotten me this. And because it had door chime on it, um, I never even bothered to open it because I thought it had to be wired up um, into your house, into the doorbell. That's what I thought this was. I thought it was a uh, doorbell, but it's not. It's actually a motion sensor. So you can keep your Enterprise um, alarmed if you see if you have this motion down in your hallways of your Enterprise, it'll make a sound. And if you're really worried about people in your house, you put it down to red alert. And if someone walks by, you're not expecting red alert. All hands battle stations. Red alert. This is not a drill. So I was wondering what the back of this does for different... Uh, I thought it might have done different sounds, but it doesn't. So... Let's take a look at the instructions. Press the intercom button to activate the both boat swain whistle sound. The intercom button is functional in all three modes of operation. The door mode. Set the operation mode switch to the top position for the door mode to play for the turbo list door opening. And that sound is activated. No detection mode. Set the operation mode switch to the center position for no detection to turn off the sensors. Red alert mode. Set the operation switch to the button position for red alert mode to play the red alert Claxton for the sensor when it's activated. And the intercom button activates the sound. So, basically that's what I had just showed you. Um, this is a pretty cool decoration piece. And you can have someone walk by without expecting it. You put it on your wall and you're in Star Trek Man Cave. And you'll get the turbo lift doors. And if you want to hail the captain. Bridge to Captain Kirk. All hands, this is the captain. You can see that it's got a sensor on... The right side, the sensor button to the right side, the sensor button to the left side, and is there one on the bottom? Nope. So the one in the middle does both. You've got either the left, the left or the right sides for the sensor. And you got the volume. So those are the only switches on the back. But this is pretty wild. Um, like I said, this does not light up. Which is too bad, because I, I think it lit up on the show. I'll do some research on the show and see the control panel. But it's very accurate. Um, you can see Captain Kirk going up to Kirk here. And of course the red alert. So this is a really cool little gadget.
So you think about it, this is a pretty cool little security gadget for the Star Trek fan. Because you can hang this in your Star Trek man cave, and you can set it to red alert. And when you're not in the room, should you hear the red alert sound, you know that there's someone in your room. Same thing if you put it on the turbo lift doors. Um, it could be, you know, what else could possibly activate this was if the light dims for a moment because let's say the sun is out and it's in a sunny area and a cloud goes in front of the sun, that could possibly trigger this. I've seen that happen. But this is a good little, good little gadget. Um, I wish it would have voices. I wish Captain Kirk would speak through it, but... It doesn't. It's more of a sensing device than an interaction device. Let me see if I can... Is that on the other side? So it, it's triggered by light and differentiation, differentiations of the light. So... So the light could possibly trigger it, but it's still pretty cool. You can hang it in your main cave, and you can um, actually have the Enterprise intercom system on your wall. So it does run through its, its uh, series when it, the red alert is sound, sounded. There's no way to stop it. And you've got the, uh, the doors opening up and the hail whistle, which is pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this short video for this little Star Trek goodie. And for more little Star Trek goodies, StarTrek.com is the best place to find everything. And until my next video, live long and prosper, and thanks for watching. Kirk here.